Good morning. Day 36 of the MCO. Just gone 7 o'clock in the morning again. But I got up super early this morning. I've been up since 5 o'clock. Uh, couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been keeping myself busy. I've done some workout. I'm making uh, bread. Uh, watch some YouTube tutorials. And uh, generally wanting to have an extremely productive day. Today's session is not going to be as hectic as yesterday's session. Uh, yesterday I had two mini workshops, one meeting, uh, two mini workshops and three meetings. And that took the whole day and uh, I was just able to upload the uh, uh, blog for day 35 uh, uh, late in the evening. Uh, but today is going to be a bit relaxed, just two workshops which I am prepared for. Uh, and I think uh, I'm really, uh, I am extremely uh, happy at how the workshops are going, especially in the way that I am delivering the content using OBS Studio. Uh, which I think is is making my workshops a uh, I don't know if it's better, but this is different from what uh, uh, other people are offering as far as online virtual uh, webinar or uh, workshops are concerned. So today is all about upping the production value of my uh, workshops and 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 utilizing the power of the software which i am convinced i'm not using 100 percent so that's the plan uh, so my workshop starts at 9 30 lasts for approximately one hour and then the second workshop will start at uh, 2 30 lasts for another hour and in between i've got a lot of chores to do today is going to be laundry day uh, making my bread and it's time to prepare for Ramadan, which will be starting tonight. The first night of Ramadan is tonight. And I think in the history of the faith since the Prophet brought uh, the, the commandment from Allah and the Quran down nearly more than 14 hundred years ago this particular Ramadan is going to be extremely different for everybody all Muslims around the world we are united by this um, unprecedented self restriction on Jama'ah prayer uh, during Ramadan so that's some that's a that's something to think about but I am convinced uh, and I have learned having to do our prayers on our own in the confines of the house and not in Jama'ah or congregation is actually an opportunity to deepen the faith, to deepen the Iman because then it's not about me and any fellow Muslims, it's just me and Allah and, and that's, that's a pretty powerful concept all right, so time to get back to work. I'll see you later um, and give you updates about what's happening. Okay, I am absolutely exhausted. Uh, it's only nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. I had my mini workshop this morning and that went well. We were talking about um, feedback and I was sharing uh, strategies and principles that can be found in the book called Thanks for the Feedback, believe it or not. Uh, and this morning and this afternoon, oops, we're going to talk about emotional intelligence. I've blogged about this before um, and uh, you can check out that blog now. Uh, so, but I got up at 5 o'clock this morning and couldn't go back to sleep and now I'm feeling the impact of getting up early because I'm sleepy 
and uh, and tired. I've also just finished editing a video from my excerpts from the my workshop series, and this uh, video I just uploaded is about uh, the midpoint correction of a team. Uh, so please go ahead and watch the video. I'll put the link up here if you want to find out what is it all about. I'm thinking I need to take a nap now, take a power nap, 10 or 15 minutes, and then uh, get up, get ready, and uh, start uh, doing all the chores that I need to do before 4 o'clock, which is when my next workshop is going to start. Whoa! Finish my session. Uh, welcome to Reza Cisco. So this is uh, what the background looks like in my workshop. Interesting, right? Cool. Uh, and uh, I have resorted to having to grab all of my books and have them ready as resource material for when I conduct my workshop. Uh, so we are, we've just gone halfway there. Uh, very, very cool. And I am now uh, uploading a lot of excerpts from the workshop I conduct. And that's a great thing because I've never been able to do it before. Uh, so, uh, and I, I don't want to upload a whole workshops and whole, uh, you know, uh, 30 minute, 40 minute, 50 minute workshop. And I have to make the effort to edit it to manageable chunks, uh, which I think is going to be more interesting for people to watch. Uh, right, so I am now going to go for my uh, um, afternoon prayer and uh, get some stuff done, uh, finish this vlog off, and I'll catch you later in a short while. You know, uh, as a Muslim, we have a belief that rain brings um, uh, rahmah or mercy uh, from Allah and uh, one of the recommended ways to um, to to make a doa or, 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 or ask to ask in prayer for something is to do it in the rain no. to express what I'm feeling right now um, coming into Ramadan in how we are right now as a as a family as a country as a global citizen something that is affecting us all of us around the world all the 12 billion people around the world facing the same thing and that's a sobering feeling because it brings the world closer and I it's it's interesting to see that my friends, my, my friends from school in the UK are experiencing exactly the same things that I'm experiencing here. But it's also extremely stressful to see how different the leadership of each country is responding or reacting to these things. I pray for everybody to be safe during Ramadan and I pray that that uh, we are safe from the COVID-19 virus uh, I pray that those who are infected with the COVID-19 virus I pray for their patience and their strength and the fa friends and family of and their friends and family to have sabah and patience as well and my heart really goes out to the people who, whose dear ones have passed away uh, and not being able to say goodbye and not being able to attend the funeral and not being able to get the closure that comes with it. And I know a lot of people are going to be in distress over the next few weeks, few months and few years. 
So now is the time for us to get together, help each other. And um, that's all I have to say. Uh, day 36 of the movement control order. Day 37 tomorrow. First day of Ramadan. 